We are at the CHI Health Center in Omaha, Nebraska. You said it, two teams that are battling for seeding, not only in the Big East Tournament, but in the NCAA Tournament. As we bring you inside a rocking crowd and a blue out tonight in Omaha. 40 minutes in a basketball game. Hitting ten and a half threes per game. Leads the conference, top ten in the country. Here's the big fella, Carl Brenner. Guard against that is you have to have ball pressure. You can't let the smallest guy on the floor in Ashworth look over the top of you and make those clean passes. Alexander left open in the mid-range where he is the assassin. Up ahead to Carl Brenner. We're going to find ourselves down 20 the way UConn did the last time Creighton played at home as Jaden Badiaco lays it in. You tell your guys this is what we're going to get into and then it happens as soon as they step on the court 10 seconds later they forget. Good focus there by Seton Hall. Richmond leaves it off for yeah. Davis and the bunny in the lane is good. And just a, an, an intellectual offensive player. He knows he needs guys to and which guys he needs to get it going. Mm. Boy. That's the problem. <laughs> Such a selfish sport, track and field. <laughs> Davis. Mm. Oh, Fade away. Especially understanding that Team Hall's best player already had a foul. Do the same, even though both bigs are out. Alamere does hit it. First bucket of the night. Both teams just one for the last seven from the floor. Trout lines up for three. Coaches are with their starters and, yeah. and how their starters can stay on the floor without fouling. Trout again. Stay high. <laughs> Hutchins Everett spinning in the traffic. Rebound Alexander. Green wrestles it away. Ashworth left open. That's a three. So everyone's fatigued, but you miss one or two of those, you got to understand. Let me try to knock this off the glass and get something underneath it. Woo! That's a big man move by the seven foot one, 270 pounder. Yes, it was a wide open three, but I want my big to be aggressive in there. There you Rich go. Man plus one, a chance at a three point play in free throw attempts per game. Here is a day Wusu. To a day, Wusu. Circus shot tapped in by Bediaco. Oh, that Creighton missed. Step back three. Shireman puts it in his second of the game. Shireman gets it back on the wing, tries a three. You're taking what Creighton has given you, but you have to create for yourself. Bediaco, offensive rebound, puts it in. Shireman the kick out. Miller left wide open. Downtown. And their team that was one possession away from a trip to the Final Four last year. And case in point, Ashworth off the bounce. Creating and Cole Brenner cleans it up. Adel Wusu had it picked off by Shireman. Floats it to Cole Brenner and stolen by Adel Wusu. That would have been a, a horse type trip. <laughs> header. <laughs> Alamir does, flips it in, back-to-back -back lanes, play at a time. Alexander with three to shoot, hounded by Alamir Dawes, just got it off, man, and beat the buzzer. Contesting by Dawes, but Alexander's just so long and falls away perfectly. Ashworth blows it by, flips it in. Five turnovers for Creighton. <laughs> Alexander to Ryan Kalkbrenner. 
Richmond. Somehow and scoots it over. Second opportunity. Ashworth again. Oh, no. Puts it in. Possession. Well, for all the talk about Creighton's offense, following it up. Extra pass. Out to three. Step back. It's a deep two. Gary Richmond kind of go to work. You know, no call printer in the game. Get downhill. You can see laterally. Good play there over the top. UConn in March. Wow. You try to make it as uncomfortable, but they are always looking towards the hoop for call printer. Kadari Richmond trailing by 20 here with a little over 10 minutes to play. Alexander. Man, good is he in the mid-range, Tommy? That's what you're always trying to do as a scorer. You're trying to create space with the ball, without the ball, and he does it with his fadeaway. I mean, Greg McDermott. Alexander says, to heck with that. <laughs> right. And Greg McDermott says, I, I don't like I don't like the mid-range shot. I like the three. For the Pirates in their first half. Like they're taking bad shots. It's, it's just an to me. It's 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 all about the effort. And how many times did you foul out in college? Do you I would, remember? No, I wouldn't say a lot. Maybe one, maybe one or two in the hundred games. But now the oh, woo! Beats the buzzer, blows a kiss to the bench. But I have to allow him to play through some of those mistakes and some of those risks, and have to be able to live with it. You know, the interesting thing about it at this level in this conference, Trey Alexander continuing to just shine. Baylor Shireman doing what he does. It just it, it makes them the St. John's over the weekend at the Garden. Oh yeah, on the touch. Yeah, they've given Seton Hall everything they could handle and more. Opening game of Big E's play when Seton Hall handled business. Their season at Villanova on March 9th.